welcome back everyone today we are going to dive into the world of web development and explore a fascinating new project that will leave you mesmerized we will be creating a hidden search feature using the html css and javascript have you ever visited a website and struggle to find what you were looking for this is where a search bar comes in a handy way so we will start with the html code we will create a form element that will contain our search bar the form will be hidden by default and we will use the css and javascript to make it appear when needed so i will show you what we are going to do in these projects so this is our search bar we will make it using html css and javascript So guys, we have just completed our HTML file. In our HTML file, we have created one div. That div have we have given a search class. In that search class, we have given a one input element. That input element type is a search. And this is very important that uh, this type are given to be uh, like for example, if you want to use the input type number. So here we will type a number. Number so these are the element types of input and another one we have given one button in that button we have given the icon of search and if we see on the browser so here it is looks like a search bar with the icon if you type here So you can see here we have a cross button also if you click on the cross button it will remove the text in our input box that is why we have given the input type here a search box next we will style the search bar and the button using the css we will give the button a unique design that complements the overall theme of the websites let's get started with the css
so guys we have just created our css file we have written the css code just so we will let understand what we have written in our css files in the first line we have imported the google font from the google in the sec uh, and the second one is that this is the asterisk symbol this element is applied this css is applied to every element in our page the second important things we have learned new in this project is the background image we have given the linear gradient so what is gra gradient in css css gradient lets you display smooth transition between two or more set specified colors to create a linear gradient you must define at least two color st stops color stops are the colors you want to render smooth transition among you can also set a starting point and a direction or an angle along with the gradient effect so for example the, this is the syntax background image the linear gradient and this one is the direction or the angle which we have given a 90 degree and the color 1 and color 2 these are the uh, syntax and about about this uh, direction could be top bottom right whatever if you want to give the direction the another one we will see here is uh, yeah so overflow hidden we have given to our body so what is overflow the overflow property specifies whether the clip to the content or to add scroll balls when the content of the element is too big to fit in the specified area and we have given the overflow hidden here so what is hidden the overflow is clipped and the rest of the content will be invisible so that is for the overflow hidden property and about the dot this is our class for the input the search we have given the position relative here and also for the input we have given the background color to white border is zero padding transition these are all the properties are new we have given the transition to the width to 0.3 at a ease okay and this is the button style we have given for our button if you see in the browser this is our button and uh, yeah so we have also given the position absolute here we have given the cursor pointer what is cursor pointer when we over on this button you see the cursor is changing that is the cursor pointer we have given the button focus and input focus to outline none and uh, yeah so we have given when the search when the search is active that time the button will be translate into x by what 198 px so we have also given these styles we will manipulate this css by using the javascript so now finally we will use javascript to make the search bar appear when the button is clicked we will add event listener to the button and when it's clicked we will use the css class to display the search bar let's get started with our javascript code So let's get understand what we have written in our javascript file here so we are selecting a div here first the search div then the button then the input element by using the query selector so all you know that what is query selector is a, uh, a is a useful used to get the element in on the dom by using the class so we are passing a class in that parameter of the query selector and then when we click on the button the then the, there is a event listener the event listener is click when we click on the event i mean the button this functionality will be done so what is this so in the search and we are we are toggling the 
active class so if we click on the button if we click on the search button then in the html we are dynamically adding a active class here just like that and by adding that we have given already css for the active when the input is active the width will become 200 px and also we have given the transition also for that so this is what the javascript is responsible in this project and after that click we will focus the input if you see in the browser and you can see here it will automatically focus on the input box and that's it guys a hidden search feature that is a both functional and visually appealing this project is an excellent example of how html css and javascript can work together to create a fantastic user experience i hope you enjoyed this tutorial don't forget to like comment and subscribe for more exciting projects like this one thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video